There were cheers in San Francisco as a three-judge panel released the ruling. The federal appeals court upheld the judgment of a lower court, saying Proposition 8 targets gays and lesbians and violates the U.S. Constitution's guarantee of equal rights. The case is probably far from finished, and same-sex couples are not yet free to marry in California, pending a possible appeal by the proposition's supporters. But in Los Angeles, same-sex couples who filed the lawsuit to overturn the ban joined their lawyers and families to celebrate. Paul Katami, one of the plaintiffs, says he is overjoyed. Well, there's one thing I'm always doing when we get good news is I'm holding the hand of the person that I love and that I want to marry. And so I think we lost a little blood flow for a minute there. Uh, <laughs> but, you know, today makes the last almost three years worthwhile. Those who back the gay marriage ban say it was enacted by California voters in 2008 and that the judges who overturned it are overstepping their authority. Attorney Andrew Puno supports the ban. And we see this, this um, trend of courts um, interfering and overruling the vote of the people, which question, puts into question why do we even go and bother and vote. The plaintiff's attorney, Theodore Olson, says the case is about equality. He says while it applies specifically to California, it could have an impact on other states. It's a respected federal appellate court upholding a federal district court decision striking down Proposition 8 as violating the United States Constitution. Supporters and opponents of Proposition 8 are expected to be back in the courtroom before long. Supporters of the gay marriage ban can ask the full Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals to review the case or appeal it to the U.S. Supreme Court. Mike O'Sullivan, VOA News, Los Angeles.